Hey guys, before I start this video, I just wanted to remind you all that we will be holding a giveaway when we hit 500 subscribers and we're just about there. We only need about 20 more and we'll be giving away an Onyx premium membership and one of our original Fire Mountain hats. So we'll have two different winners. Just wanted to remind you guys, so if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos and look out for the giveaways. Let's get into it. It's been about a year. Oh, we're coming up on a year since I've had this uh, Kimber Montana chambered in 308, and it's been an awesome rifle. I've had a lot of fun with it. And if you guys have seen my first video on this gun, that's when I kind of did a barrel break in process. And I know a lot of people are telling me barrel break in's a myth, and maybe it is. I mean, I won't argue with you, and I just figured it wouldn't hurt. Throw down some. Uh, Am ammunition down the barrel before I got it all sight sighted in. So anyways, like I said, yeah, it's been good to me. I shot a mule deer back last season at 320 yards, my first ever mule deer. So that was really cool. And just recently, I've actually been stretching out my shooting a little, just for the fun of it. And I've been shooting out to about 950 yards. So that's been cool. The, so the ammo I've been using is the Precision Hunter by Hornady. Um, I'm running 178 grains and that's been my um, ammunition of choice for hunting so far. So bear season actually just opened yesterday and I wanted to come out and um, just make sure she was still dialed and shooting good. So I have a target down at 350 or 360 I think and another target down at 450 yards. So I'm going to take some shots at both targets, see where I'm grouping at that. In a perfect situation, I hope I don't even have to shoot that far, but that's kind of where I'm testing 350 and 450 right now. That's kind of like my max end of my hunting distance range. I don't want to shoot based on the results I get today. I don't think I want to shoot past 450. Like I said, I did shoot my mule deer last year at 320. And that was kind of <laughs> going into that hunt. I was like, ah, I don't want to shoot anything past 300, but I mean, at that point in time when I was hunting that buck, I didn't have any other option. I couldn't, that was the closest I could get is 320. So I just wanna make sure I'm prepared for this bear season and we're gonna see how she does today. So let's get into it. Well, with just my luck, my box out there flipped over with the target, with the sticker target on it. So now I just gotta shoot at a blank box, but I'll still know if I'm hitting or not once we go check on it. Now we got some wind too, so let's see how it all factors together. So, but I'm looking at my 450 yard target here. As you can see, it um, it fell over. So I was shooting at that please recycle sign right there. And, um, but my, my group in, is pretty good, I'd say, for 450 yards. And I wasn't holding for wind. So you can see the wind drift took my, took my shot about maybe 10 inches to the right. So, now I know with that with that amount of breeze, I want to hold over just about seven to ten inches to the left. And I should drop them right there in the center. But for 450, that's a I'm happy with that. So um yeah, that's that's looking good. And now let's go check out our 350. 
So here we are at the 350. Not ideal to what I wanted to see, but once again, you can see I'm hitting to the right. So that wind drift was, uh, that wind was a lot stronger than I had thought it was. And as you can see, I've got some marks down the side. So I'd imagine my other couple shots are probably right here, which if they were moved to the center, I would say that would be a decent group. But it's tough to say, but I mean, based on, based on that 450 yard group, that's looking about the same. But just, just off the board because that, that wind pushed it off. So based on all that, I would, now I know that with that amount of um, breeze coming in left to right like that, I'm definitely gonna wanna hold at least um, 10 inches, at least, maybe maybe even a foot to the, to whatever side the wind's blowing for that, for that amount of wind. Wish I would have been able to see them more on the board, but you know, that's, that's, that's what happened. So I'm still pretty new to all this um, rifle shooting stuff. So I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how, how the Kimber's been doing and treating me so far. So hopefully we can get us a bear this season, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep you tuned on that. So there it is guys. Just wanted to make a quick video, a little update. The first video I put out about breaking in this rifle, it's been getting a lot of engagement and I just wanted to kind of hop back on here. Tell you guys my thoughts on it since, since I've had it for almost coming up on a year now. And like I said, I really enjoy it. Super fun gun to shoot. And I'm, I'm really getting the hang of how it shoots. And as you can see, I'm still working on getting my long distance dialed in, but I'm pretty uh, happy with the groups of shooting at longer ranges. I just need to um, make those adjustments for wind. And yeah, and uh, I did put the Kimber um, brake on it. I didn't think it needed it. One of the main reasons I got it, because uh, my girlfriend was thinking about getting behind the rifle and doing some hunting this season, so I wanted to get that on there for her so it would tame it down a little bit. But I've been shooting with it on now, and I like it. Definitely reduces the recoil down, so it makes it super easy to just stay on your target after you take a shot with that on. But but I've taken it off and on since I've had it, and I could shoot it either way. It doesn't matter to me. It, like in hunting situations, um, we were, I was hunting coyotes with a buddy last weekend, and I pulled it off just because I don't really need it. It's not necessary. I didn't want to blow our eardrums out and all that stuff. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or <laughs> Any insights for me, because I know there's a lot of guys on the internet who know a lot more about guns and rifles than I do, so I'm sure you guys all have a little bit of something to say about what I'm doing and how I could probably, I'm probably doing something wrong or something. So yeah, leave them in the comments and um, yeah, any info or insight would be appreciated. And thank you guys. Like I said, we're doing that giveaway. So if you get in there and subscribe, we'll be giving away some prizes here shortly. So thanks again, guys.